Let's begin our astral voyages with a meditation. I recommend that this be said every morning uh, to protect you during the day. Remember, you need to be rein to reinforce it every day in order to keep it effective. I am filling myself with pure white light so that only love and wisdom and health, healing energy, peace and joy will be here now. I release all my past fears, doubts, negatives, relationships, and inner self to the light. I am a light being. My true nature is light. I radiate light from my light center throughout my being to everyone and everything. I now step into the crystal cathedral of light, where my angel guides are and the hierarchy is. They send me love and energy, and I am well and strong. Only love and light can come here now, and only love and light can stay. I receive this, so be it, and so it is. Thank you, God, for everything. Let's begin our conscious, out-of-the-body experience technique. Now you are about to embark on a very special journey. This is not, this is an experience that you have already prepared for many times. Your soul has traveled here many times. This time your preparation is guided by your higher self and your masters and guides, with your complete awareness, you are perfectly safe. See the white light around you, protecting you, that there is no need to be concerned. Be one with the white light. You are the white light. You are able to maintain your connection with your higher self at this time. You are able to keep this connection as your soul courses into spirit and leaves the physical body. You are always safe and protected. You can and will be able to communicate with your higher self. It may be with telepathy, you can also hear sounds from the earth plane. You are protected and safe. Look back at your physical body. You do not need to be concerned about it. You are spirit. You are soul. You are immortal. Be one with your higher self. Be one with your perfect energy. You are your higher self. Leave behind all earth plane baggage. Leave behind all fears, pain, worries, and insecurities. Emerge yourself in the protective white light coming from your higher self. Be one with your higher self. Listen to your higher self. It will guide you on a fantastic journey. Be open to its instructions. Have no fear. You are protected. You are perfectly safe. Do not cling to your old physical body. Do not cling to your higher self either. Be empowered. Be confident. You are an evolved soul and are with your higher self. You are now on your way to the soul plane. Feel yourself 
being drawn up to the soul plane. Feel the presence of your higher self advising you, protecting you. Realize that you have consciously left your body. Note the changes in color and sounds as you move toward the soul plane. See how well you have adapted to this trip. See how you avoided the disorientated forces of the lower planes. See how easy it is to do this. Be one with your higher self. As you enter the soul plane, observe how peaceful and organized it is. It is warm, yet efficient in helping you choose your destiny. Note how the higher plane is with you always. See how the selection process is done. Note how your higher self assists you in this choice. See the presence of your masters and guides as you are presented with choices on this, the soul. Let your higher self and spirit guides assist you as they teach you about ascension. If you can now ascend to the higher planes, rejoice, for shortly you will be with God. You will no longer need to be assisted by your higher self. You will be your higher self. You and your higher self have emerged. You are your higher self. You are your higher self. Joyce, you are one with the universe. You are pure consciousness. You are the white light. You are your higher self. Now it's time to return to your body. Again, concentrate on your breath. Note the other functions of your body. Slowly open your eyes and look around. Where you're feeling beautiful, recharged, re-energized. Let me share another take with you at this time. It's called Conscious Out-of-the-Body Experience. It's just a little different, but uh, you listen to it carefully. And again, we can take a mental trip if you choose. I want you to imagine a bright, white light. Coming down from above and entering the top of your head. Filling your entire body. See it. Feel it. And it becomes reality. Now imagine an aura of pure white light emanating from your heart region. Again, surrounding your entire body. Protecting you. See it. Feel it. And it becomes reality. Now only your masters and guides, higher self, and a highly evolved loving entity who mean you well will be able to influence you during this or any other hypnotic session. You are in total protected in this area, in this aura of pure white light. Now as you focus in how comfortable and relaxed you are, 
free of distraction, free from physical and emotional obstacles that prevent you from safely leaving and returning to the physical body, you will perceive and remember all that you encounter during this experience. You will recall in detail when you are physically awake only those matters which will be beneficial to your physical and mental well-being. Now begin to sense the vibrations around you and in your own mind begin to shape and pull them into a ring around your head. Do this for a few moments now. Now as you begin to attract these vibrations into your inner awareness, they begin to sweep throughout your body, making it rigid and immobile. You will Always and always be in complete control of this experience. Do this now as you perceive yourself rigid and immobile. With these vibrations moving along and throughout your entire body. Again, I will repeat. To attract these vibrations into your inner awareness, feel them as they sweep throughout your body, making it rigid and stiff. You are always in complete control of this experience. Do it now as you perceive yourself rigid with these vibrations moving along and throughout your entire body. You've done very well. Pulse those vibrations. Perceive yourself feeling the pulse of those vibrations throughout your entire awareness. In your mind's eye, reach out one of your arms and grasp some object which you know is out of normal reach. Find the object and let your astral hand pass through it. Your mind is using your astral arm, not your physical arm, to feel the object. As you do this, you are becoming lighter and lighter and your astral body is beginning to rise up from your physical body. Do this now. You've done very well. Now using other parts of your astral body, like your head, feet, chest, and back, repeat this exercise and continue to feel lighter and lighter as your astral body begins to rise up from your physical body. Do this now. Now think of yourself as becoming lighter and lighter throughout your body. Perceive yourself floating up as your entire astral body lifts up and floats away from your physical body. Concentrate on blackness and remove all fears during this process. Imagine a helium-filled balloon rising and pulling your astral body up from and away from your physical body. Do this now. Let me repeat this exercise. Think of yourself as becoming lighter and lighter throughout your body. Perceive yourself floating up as your entire astral body lifts up and floats away from your physical body. Concentrate on blackness and remove all 
feared during this process. Imagine a helium-filled balloon rising and pulling your astral body up and away from your physical body. Do it now. See how easy it is to leave your body while remaining in complete contact with your higher self. This is the process of conscious dying. It is that simple. Now ask your higher self for any instructions that will assist your spiritual growth. Remember, your higher self is all-knowing and has access to your Akashic records. Now slowly and carefully state your desire for information or any experience and let your higher self work for you. Let it help you raise your soul's energy. You have done very well. Now I want you to further open up the channels of communication by removing any obstacles and allowing yourself to receive information and experiences that will directly apply to and help better your present lifetime. Allow yourself to receive more advanced and more specific information from your higher self and your masters and guides to raise your frequency and improve your karmic sub-cycle. Maintain the communication and connection with your higher self. You are one with your higher self. This connection will always exist, even though the physical body dies. Allow your higher self to instruct you. Do this now. All right. Sleep and rest now. You did very well. Listen very carefully. I'm going to count toward one to five. When I reach the count of five, you will be back in your physical body. You will be able to remember everything you experienced and re-experienced. You'll feel very relaxed and refreshed, and you'll be able to do whatever you had planned for the rest of the day or the evening. You'll feel very positive about what you just experienced and very motivated about your confidence and ability to play this tape again to experience consciously leaving your body. All right, now, one, very, very, very comfortable. Two, you're getting a little, little bit lighter. Three, you're getting much, much lighter. Four, very, very comfortable. And five, you have your eyes open, you're feeling fine. You're feeling better than you have felt in the past. You've experienced an out-of-the-body. If, for some reason, there was fear, apprehension, it doesn't matter. Just play the tape over and over again until you make a connection. Don't be discouraged the first time it doesn't happen. After all, this is a new experience for you. And as you keep on experiencing and listening to the tape, feel confident that you can get in and out of your body with conscious awareness. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful experience to be in control. Let's now prepare for more sophisticated and an advanced approach to soul travel. These approaches 
will involve visualization, body positioning, and the use to induce out-of-the-body experiences. Intense, expanded, and powerful states of consciousness facilitate our spiritual growth and movement toward self-realization. These exercises are designed to help you to cope with all subjective realities and experiences of deep psychic and spiritual dimension. These methods will prepare you to benefit from these voyages to other planes. In addition, your fears about leaving your body will be removed by a consciousness application of the procedures presented. In this first exercise, use the standard white life protection and self-hypnotic relaxation technique presented earlier. Just completely relaxing, closing your eyes, and calming yourself down. Remain deeply in this relaxed state. Go even deeper and now perceive yourself being transported to a mountainous region that looked as if it might be somewhere in Tibet or India. As you approach a large stone temple, you begin to climb up many You're going deeper and deeper into trance and ascending these steps and entering into this ancient temple. Inside the temple, you'll observe that there are monks who have come into the temple to sing and to pray. And these monks will sing the music developed by their order over thousands thousands of years, a music that has been, has had the function of making an immediate direct contact with their higher self, so that these monks, as they singing praises upward and outward, experience their higher self coming to them through the music. And this is very, very powerful and beautiful music for you to hear. Listen to this music for a few moments and make contact with your higher self. Very good. You've done well. Now continue in this timeless void where there's only consciousness. Becoming even more deeply relaxed See yourself dreaming late at night. You get out of your bed. You walk across the room to a closet. There is a door in the back of this closet that opens up to bring you into your line of sight. A stone staircase. It's very ancient looking. Stone staircase winding down and around. And in the dim light, you begin going down the staircase, not afraid, but eager to go down deeper, deeper, descending on down through the dream, going always deeper, a step at a time, until finally reaching the bottom of the stairway to stand at the edge of which you recognize is dark water, where a small boat is tied. Now you're lying on blankets in the bottom of the boat. The boat adrift and floating into blackness. Dark all around, but rocking gently from the motion of the water, back and forth and rising and falling gently rocking as the boat drifts on and on, as the boat drifts 
down and down as you feel only that gentle rocking. Listening to the lapping of the water nearing an opening where the boat moves along toward a light at the opening, passing out of the opening into the warm sunlight. Still floating downstream, feel the warm sunlight and a soft breeze that passes over you as you drift down and down and along the bank. Birds are singing and the fish are jumping in the water. And there is a smell of flowers and a freshly cut grass in fields that have been mowed. Feeling a great contentment, serenity, drifting drowsily down and down, down and down with that gentle rock. And now just let yourself feel it for a while. Be aware of the whole situation, the movements, the warmth, the sounds, the odors, as you keep on drifting down, down, and down. Continue now to float, to rock, gently drifting deeper and deeper until your boat approaches the shore and runs smoothly around at the edge of a meadow. Leaving the boat now and walking through the meadow, the grass against your legs, the breeze on your body, the smell of the flowers all around, the birds singing in the trees, of the movements of your body as you walk, approaching a large tree and seating yourself beneath it in in shade. But now, for a while, just feel the surroundings. Be in a total harmony with all that exists here in this world, out of time, this world without separation. This world where all is one, where you are one with all, all that is. Let's do another visualization technique that trains you to clear your mind and open yourself up for conscious expansion. Now let's imagine you're in a motion picture theater, all alone. Before you is a giant screen, absolutely blank. See it in your mind's eye. The screen is illuminated by a great white light. So now you're looking at a huge white screen, which is completely blank. Within a fraction of a second, other images will start to crowd in. Some on the screen, some on your periphery uh, of your vision. With these intruders will come sounds, memories, and desire fantasies. This must be pushed back, all of them. The sight, sound, smell, feeling, everything that only the blank and white screen remain. This is not easy and will require concentration, willpower, and lots of practice before you'll be able to hold the image of the screen clear. Fill your mind's eye for as long as five seconds. Once you're able to exclude everything from that awareness with the brilliancy's lit white screen, the solid five seconds, and you're ready for the next step which follows. 
Now carry yourself right into the white brightness of the screen so that it's all around you. At this point, you may experience pleasurable tingling on the surface of your skin or some other distraction. For the present, this must be ignored if you are to achieve the results you're striving for. When you are quite sure this brightness is all around you, and you're conscious of nothing else, no stray thoughts, no sensations, no emotional fantasies of any kind, you are then in a tomb with your higher self and have developed yourself to a point where you can consciously think of both in its flow of information, its guidance toward dimensional travel. Feel the power of a light manifesting. When you've experienced it, you may open your eyes at any time and reevaluate anything that you remember. This technique needs to be practiced whenever you choose, and eventually with practice and all the techniques that we've done earlier, you will be able to accomplish an out-of-the-body experience with awareness. From that point on, the tape will no longer be necessary and you can do it at will.